Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel again. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here with me before, welcome back. I'm glad you all could join me today. Today I am going to do a product review on the e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. I know that Clinique has a balm cleanser, I believe, and I've kind of been wanting to try this. I, I look at it every time I go on the e.l.f. website. I always consider putting it in my cart, and for whatever reason, I don't. Well then, when I was out Christmas shopping, I kind of purchased for myself because I found this in stores in Target. And so I was kind of excited and I was like, oh my God, it's a sign. If it's there, that means I have to have it. I've looked at it so many times, I have to have it. So I bought it. Now for anybody that watches my channel regularly, you know that to remove my makeup, I use a oil cleanser and it's one, it's an oil cleanser that I make myself. That way I know what's in it and I don't have any negative reactions from it and it works beautifully. I mean, it's the best way to just melt the makeup off. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I will link that one down below so you can watch how I make my um, makeup removing cleanser. But I really wanted to give this a try because I have been seeing stuff like this all over the internet. And I thought, well, you know, I can't be uh, too bad if everybody uses it and all these different companies are making them. And I believe this was eight or $10 still not a lot and you get 1.41 ounces and i love the packaging it looks it's that frosted green color that elf is kind of it's almost like they're known for this particular color of green like i know i have the aqua primer mist and it's in that same shade and i think that this is their aqua line or their skincare line is like this and there's a top and like a lid in there it's got the little tab you pull it up but this is what it looks like it kind of looks almost like a Vaseline. However, Vaseline has a more of a yellow tint. This is very, very clear, very clear. I mean, this is crystal clear. And it has almost, excuse me, no smell, or at least it's very undetectable. I don't notice the smell at all, but you just take a little bit. You really basically put just a layer on just this pad of your finger, rub it into your hands and then rub it all over your face. And it's perfectly safe to use around your eyes, on your eyelids. It removes waterproof mascara. It really gets the eyeliner off too. Um, it's like any uh, gel cleanser or not gel, sorry, oil cleanser. You know, when you rub your eyes and stuff, all of a sudden you get the raccoon eyes where all the makeup that's melted kind of is all over your face. And it definitely does that. And on here it says to massage cleanser into the skin and then activate with warm water to work into a light lather. Rinse clean and pat dry. I have tried using like, you, like it's following the directions. You use it on your face and then you get some water, warm water and kind of rub it in. I don't get a lather so much. Is it just kind of gets white colored, like milky? That's what I see with it. And that works fine. However, I have discovered my favorite way to use this that makes my skin feel the best is I rub this into my face and then I let it sit for a second while I grab a washcloth and I get it wet with warm water, kind of wring it out so it's just damp and then literally just wipe it away little bits at a time with the washcloth. So that way it takes off all of the excess and takes all the makeup with it. And then when I'm done, then I do a single splash or two, one or two splashes with warm water. And then I have always, I'm an avid um, believer in after you're done washing your face, you splash your face with cold water to just close up those pores because the warm water opens them up and you get the dirt out and then you splash cold water and it closes them up. And that way you're not getting as much acne. You're kind of taking care of your skin a little bit better. But then after that, pat your face dry. And when you're done, your face is so smooth. Yeah, you're going to kind of look a little shiny. Not gonna lie, you look in the mirror and you're doing this, and you've got shine. But it's not an oil shine. This is a healthy, like, glow shine. It's beautiful, and it feels so soft and so smooth and so hydrating. I mean, your face feels so hydrated. It's kind of plump from hydration, not fat or swollen, just nice and filled in and plump. Sometimes I am 
full truth here, all honesty, I don't even always put mas or fonda or oh my goodness, mascara and foundation, really. I don't always put moisturizer on afterwards because my skin feels so good already. But I don't even think about it because for me it's just a normal thing. I sit down and I put my do my whole nighttime routine and after I use this stuff, I don't always feel like it's necessary to the point where I forget that I don't have it on and I just go to bed without it. So I really, really enjoy this. However, I am having some breakouts recently and they're up here on my forehead. See, I've got a couple bumps here and here and I don't know if it's from this or what it could be from if it's hormones when my daughter's time of the month comes her hormones set off my face and it happens every month and I don't know if that's coming up she doesn't tend to share those things with me but I do know that um, the Burt's Bees cleansing oil made me break out really really bad so I couldn't use it which is why I switched over to my um, DIY version of it so I'm gonna keep using this and I believe that this is the only thing that's new in my skincare routine yeah I don't have anything else new right now it's just this so I'm gonna use use this a bit more and we're gonna see how well it does if I continue to have breakouts or not because if I do continue to have it it may be this and then I'll cut this out for a week or so see if my face clears up and then I'll try it again so in about a month I will let you know I will update you on whether or not this is the cause of my outbreaks and if you guys have used this before why don't you let me know down below how your skin does with this do you have breakouts with it or anything and what you think of it so yeah I don't remember what I was gonna say my brain just went <laughs> all right and that is all I've got for you today so make sure you like this video if you're watching it just like it up let me know you're watching it and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one